Okay, now the next graphs we're going to look at are not going to be centered at 0, 0. They're centered at uh, what's referred to as HK. In the notes in this section, you can click on the, the link for those notes uh, in the description of this video below. Uh, that's going to take you to the section where it talks about parabolas centered at HK. That's the part of the notes you want to look at. And there's four different models that are uh, listed inside there. And again, you're going to look at this equation and you match it up with one of those four models and that tells you uh, which direction the graph is going to go. So in this case right here, I have a y, I have a y, y minus 3, a y squared comes first and I have an x here. So these kind of work the same way as the one centered at 0, 0. It's just that now we notice that we have some extra things inside the parentheses. These extra things inside are, are what's going to allow us to find the vertex. When you find the vertex, you want to take the opposite sign of the number that you see inside here, opposite sign of that number. The x always comes first, so let's do that. Opposite sign of plus 2 is negative 2. Opposite sign of negative 3 positive 3. So I have negative 2 and positive 3, that's my vertex. My focal width I'll find exactly the same way as the ones that are at 0, 0. I take the absolute value of this number, the one in front of the, the part that has the non-squared variable in it. I'm going to do absolute value negative 16 equals positive 16, so now I know the focal width. I need to find the model that this matches. If I look at the notes, then this is the one that it matches. y minus k squared equals negative 4a x minus h. So I have that. That's the one that it, that it resembles. Now if I have a y squared part here and a negative, that means that this is the one that opens up to the left. And this is going to tell me which direction I have to go uh, for my focus and my directories. Based on this model here, it says that I got to go to the left, my amount of A, and go to the right, that will give me my directrix. So that's what I'm going to do when I draw the graph. Now when you're drawing these that are not centered at the origin, we're going to go ahead and first you need to plot the vertex. So negative 2 and positive 3, that's the one I'm going to begin with. Now I could find the focus and directrix by using the formulas that are provided in my notes. I'm not going to do that. Instead I'm actually going to draw the graph and read the information off of that. It's going to be easier. That means again we don't have to worry about memorizing extra formulas. So I'm going to read everything off the graph itself. This model says that from my vertex, which is right here, I need to go to the left in amount of A and go to the right in amount of A. So from here I, I gotta, I, I'm going to go to the left A and to the right A. Now I have to find the A value here. The, uh, in this case I have negative 4, I'm going to have that set equal to the negative 16 that's in the formula itself. So I have negative 4A equals negative 16 and if I divide both sides by negative 4 I get A is 4. Remember A uh, should always be positive no matter what. So now I know which direction to go uh, in, 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 which way to go on this. So I'm going to go to the left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to make a dot right here. I'm going to go to the right 4. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. And that right there is my dotted line going that way. So I went to the left and I went to uh, the right, an amount of 4. Okay. Now that I have that complete, I can indicate uh, my coordinates here. My focus, I'm just going to read that off the graph itself without using a formula. That's going to be negative 6 and positive 3. So I go negative 6, 3 is my focus. Now my directrix is a vertical line, so I know it's going to be x equals, crosses the x-axis at 2. That's what I put here. So now I've answered all the information, the, all the blanks that I filled in here. The last thing I want to do now is just draw the graph itself. Now right here, this, this part from here to here through the focus, that's your focal width. The focal width we already said was going to be 16. If we split that in two, that means we're going to go up 8 and down 8 from the focus. So from here we're going to go up 8. We go up 8 and make a dot right here. Then we're going to go down 8. So I have 3 down to here and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that takes me down to here. And that gives me two more points. Now I can tell how wide the parabola is. I can just go ahead and draw that in like this. And now that's going to be my completed graph. The width from here to here, all that across there went 8 up and 8 down, which means the whole thing is 16 all the way across.